Peace, everybody. Peace. Pull it deep back at you. So, with my uh, installment two of the Best Foot Forward series, today is don't allow um, a life of neglect to pile up on you. As we all know, um, life is just going to keep moving. It's just going to keep going. And it is very easy to allow a lot of things to just get by you, you know, um, in a slide. And some of us, uh, we just got too much going on, you know. Different people have different situations, you know, whether it's careers, businesses, relationships, children, health, tending to other people in our family. I mean, the reasons why things can get by us are numerous. However, if we really want to be able to control our destiny, we have to really keep doing a constant evaluation to make sure that we are not being negligent overall and how we're moving. Sometimes, you know, we might do good in one or two areas, but then when we um, look at three other areas in our life, you know, it's like we're failing poorly, you know? Um, so we, we, we really want to get a check of those things. You know, sometimes we got to go back and review the tasks that we have written down somewhere that we were supposed to do. And then we got to deal with the after effects and, you know, and that's the problem, the compound effect of not getting things done. And sometimes when you got to backtrack, you got to find stuff, you got to get information together or you got to piece back information that you might have forgot because it's been so long ago um and it, it, it could be a lot of things this can uh, be you know bills uh this could pertain to a task a job you were supposed to do for someone or something like that you know whereas um you're not too sharp in the current moment about how to handle it so you got to take more time to go back and to, to to assess the situation and sometimes when things get slowed up, stalled and things like that, it's not necessarily our fault. However, it is our responsibility to make sure that as much as possible as we can to remain diligent and work constantly to not live a life of neglect. And we really need to look at different areas of our lives to see if we really are negligent, you know, really looking at it with a true spirit you know, all egos aside to see where we could be um, negligent. You know, is it in quality time with our family members? Is it with our business? Is it with our career development? Um, is it, you know, uh, with our health, dieting and all of these different things, you know? And, so, and what we will find is the more and more diligent we are and the less negligent, we'll be able to get more value and at some point, we'll start being springboarded forward um, even further into great things in a life by not living a life of um, negligence. Because if, if, if we're constantly living negligent, then what happens is we're unprepared to take advantage of great things around us. Um, there's always a stagnation that is there when we are negligent there's always a stagnation somewhere so it doesn't matter about what we are doing well you know we might be accomplishing certain things in life that's very you know that that's meaningful and we also want to make sure it's like Jim Rohn said we're not spending major time doing minor things you know we really need to factor that in is to not spend major time doing minor things and so um we need to study what are the majors that we need to be tending to in life. So like my my life is my relationship with my children is one, uh, my state of health. And that breaks down into the different tiers, whether that's fitness, my dieting, my spiritual development, finances. You know, these are certain things that are priority um, that, that takes a, a constant priority um, in my life. And I'm still always fixing and tweaking those different things. So what is your list? What are you looking at? Um, if you like this content, please let me know. Subscribe, follow, share, give to a friend. I am poetdeep.com. Please access the content. Peace. Have a great day.